welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you haven't seen my first video, this will be my second. And the other one I tell you that I'm very new to YouTube. This is something that I wanted to do for a very long time. Um, today, I don't have my hair fixed because I am just doing a makeup look. And then next week, I'm gonna bring you a video of just of doing hair because I had a video, I mean, I had a comment of someone asking for a hair video. So I'm gonna show you how I fix my hair also. This is just blow dried. Um, and not styled at all. Me dyeing it and highlighting it over the years have made all of my wave and curl fall out, so my hair is very straight right now. Um, today I'm going to be using this palette. It's the Carly Bible Anastasia palette. I have not used this yet. I got one in the mail and it was broken, so they sent me another one, which was very nice of them because they could have just made me pay for it. Um, so this is the second one. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, like I said, I haven't used it yet, but I have swatched it. It's very pretty. If you would do me a favor and take a second of your time to subscribe to my channel and share it to where I can grow my channel and then I can give you more videos, more content, and I can, uh, we can grow together and I can bring you more things that you would like to see. So again, my name is Anna and thank you for being here. So we're gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you this palette. This is the Anastasia palette. I don't know if that's gonna be back, that's probably backwards. Um, this, let me take this little thing out. This is the palette. And Carly Bible is a YouTuber that, she was actually one of the very first YouTubers that I ever watched. Um, she was the first YouTuber that I ever, the makeup YouTuber that I ever subscribed to. And um, there's names of her cats on here. Some of the colors are the names of her cats. And um, it's just very personal and I love it. It's so pretty. Um, so we'll, I'll show you the colors um, that I'm gonna use when we get to that. But I already have my eyebrows on because that normally takes me the longest to do and I wanted to cut that time out because my last video was pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I always forget to show you. So this is the same one that I used last time. This is the L'Oreal Perfecting Base. And this is what I'm gonna use for my primer. Like I said last time, I don't like to use a lot because if I use too much, it ends up um, like smudging my foundation. And I'm gonna be in the heat today, so I don't want it to end up sweating off. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get my beauty blender and just pounce it into my skin. And you can hear that Sophie is here again today. She's being a good little girl. Bentley is with his daddy. They just left. All right, so today I'm gonna to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation because I did my self tanner, as you can see, <laughs> my orange self tanner last night. And I, like I said last time, I do my found, my tanner all the way, whoop, I do my tanner all the way up to my chin because I like that shadow. So I'm gonna take my flat, my flat brush. I use this for foundation. This is the M6 brush from Morphe. And I'm gonna do two good pumps on there. So, oh, let me put my hair up. Okay, because I will be messing with it the whole time. All right, so I put a little bit on each part of my face and I'm gonna be real careful around my, my mirrors over here, so that's what I'm looking at. I'm gonna be real careful around my eyebrows because I don't wanna move them. I haven't said anything yet. I definitely don't wanna put powder on my face until um, until I'm ready for that step because if I were to put powder on my eyebrows and set them and then put this foundation on and my concealer, it would cake up and it would look horrible. So this foundation is still a little bit lighter than my neck, but that's okay because I put a lot of bronzer on so I can warm it up. All 
like I said, be real careful around those eyebrows. Sophie is getting to that stage where she likes to throw stuff down just to see us pick it up. And I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> She's a good baby. Okay, so that's that. Let me fix this clip. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into my concealer. And again, this is the Morphe concealer in C125. I had somebody ask me yesterday if this concealer ever cakes up and I told her no this concealer is so good and it's not expensive at all and you can see I use a lot it doesn't cake up but if you do like any concealer if you do wait um, to set it for a while it will crease but it's not going to cake up on you at all throughout the day And I'm putting extra, a little bit extra because, like I said, I'm going to be in the heat today and I don't want it to um, sweat off or wear off. And you can use a brush to um, blend this out also, but... I just prefer a beauty blender. And you can probably tell I did not wet my beauty blender today. I should have, but I didn't. Some people don't like to put concealer on their eyes, but it's never given me a problem. Whereas um, eyeshadow primer has given me a problem. So I just put the excess concealer onto my eyelid and that's kind of what I use as my primer. Okay, so because I'm not gonna use any more cream products, I'm gonna go ahead, this clip is killing me. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And I'm gonna use the same, the same powder that I used the other day. This is the Cody Airspun. Like I said, I fold it in half to make that perfect line. And then I put a little bit right in the middle because that line right there is where I set with my bronzer to where I can contour my nose. So I'm gonna bake up here. I'm gonna bake up here. That, the places that you want it to be lighter is where you bake. So basically the places that you do not put your bronzer, um, not, not your bronzer, the, the places that you don't wanna put your contour. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. This is when Paula wants to walk in and looks at me like I'm crazy because I have powder all over my face. Give Sophie some more snacks. You sleepy? All right, so I'm gonna use the butter butter bronzer in Endless Summer. This is the one that I used the other day in that big pack, but this is just a smaller version. 
so that I don't have to use that big one. On my forehead. I've got these little baby hairs that are growing back and they get, they get all in my way. And a little bit under here, just follow your jawline. I actually learned that trick from Nikki Tutorials. I'd never even thought about that and I saw her do it one time and it blew my mind because I started doing it and it worked so well. It just completely shadows your neck. I don't know if she thought about that or she saw somebody else do it, but it's genius. All right, now I use a, I'm gonna still let the rest of it bake for a minute. And I use a lighter bronzer. This is the Benefit Hula Light. This is what it looks like. It's kind of shimmery. Um, this is the... Well, I don't know what I did with it, but I had the regular Hula. I don't know what happened to it, but it's a little bit darker than this is like a red color. Um, and it's a little bit darker. It's not too much darker. It's probably the same color as what's on my face now, but this is the lighter one for lighter complexions. And this is the one that I use to contour my nose. I think I put the brush up. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. All right, so it's just, like I said, I use an eyeshadow brush, but it's really fluffy and it's too big for my eyes. So I just use this one and I start at the top of my nose that goes into my, eye socket and just go straight down and then underneath and then I do the same thing on the other side and it helps to I don't know why but it helps to hold your brush like this all right that's that Next is blush. This is the Benefit California blush. And I just use a big blush brush. All of my brushes are either from BH Cosmetics or Morphe. The pink ones are always, yeah, the pink ones are always BH and then the white and black ones are all from Morphe. They're the most affordable in my opinion and they're really good brushes. I definitely would take Morphe over any of them. All right, so now when I'm done with that, I go back in with the same bronzer brush that I used and I just sweep away all of that powder. Kind of to blend all the colors together. because I don't want to have a perfectly straight line. Everything has to be blended together perfect. Okay, and now I'll set my face. Today I'm going to use my, yeah, this is it. I thought it was perfume for a second. This is a Wet n Wild Jungle Rock X Bretman Rock face, um, face mist. You can use it as a primer or a setting spray. Um, it says three in one, but I'm not exactly sure what the third use would be. It has shimmer in it. Maybe that's it, a body spray. So this is gonna kind of, because it has shimmer in it, it's gonna kind of take away a little bit of the, so matte and powdery look, it's gonna give you a little bit of like a dewy finish.
you can kind of see right there it's kind of a little bit dewy I didn't put a lot because like I said before I have very oily skin and anything with keep putting my head out of the frame um anything with any kind of shimmer in it it'll emphasize your pores and make you look more oily okay so I'm gonna kind of sit in this is the face Okay, now, the main event, Carly Bible palette. I've actually had every palette she's made with some with people, but I don't, I think I used them all and I don't know what I did with the other ones. Sophie's trying to talk to everyone. So like I said, this is it. I'm gonna pull it in so you can see it. It's very pretty and I'm gonna go with a pink look today. I'm going to lightly use this. Uh, this will be my transition shade. That was Chai. And I guess Steve. And Aura. I'm going to go with those three. I might use a little bit of this one. That's Bible. I might use a little bit of that one as my transition transition shade also. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. I think I may use Moo also in my inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Morphe M535 brush. I'm gonna go in with Bible and Chai. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. And the the point of a transition shade is to where when you put a darker color or a lighter color on your lid, which is from your crease down, you wanna blend it together with your transition shade to where you don't have that harsh line. I have pictures of a couple of years ago of the makeup that I used to do. I didn't blend at all. I actually used to get a um kind of like a flat brush like this it, it's an eyeliner brush and it's angled and i used to actually go in like this go straight down and then go around and i would have a perfect line <laughs> of how i had my eyeliner i don't know i mean my, not my eyeliner my eyeshadow i don't know why i used to do that but i guess blending wasn't the rage back then <laughs> Again, this is Bible and Chai mixed. Right now on the other eye. I hope everyone's enjoying their Saturday. I'm definitely enjoying this music in the background. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. Let me wipe this one off. I got it a little bit wet. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. It's flat. And I got a little bit wet. Because anytime you do a shimmery eyeshadow color, you want it to be, um, it, it sticks better if you put it on either with some setting spray or if you do it with a finger or if you do um, like a wet brush. This color is so pretty. I'll show you on the other eye how to put it on with your finger, how much thicker it'll go on. Okay. So you just get it on your finger. I probably should have used the other hand. <laughs> 
See how much thicker it goes on? Don't laugh at my bad tan on my hands. just goes on so much smoother and thicker. So I'm gonna actually use my finger and fix this one. Got a little bit of fallout. All right, so now I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go in with Steve, and I'm going to go right underneath that transition shade and right on top of the shimmer shade and blend this one and the transition shade together. And like I said before, you just want to go on the outer corner, do some rolling motions. And the more you do that, the better blend it you, you're going to get. Kind of just roll it in. I'm gonna do like a sweeping motion. All right, I'm gonna get that same flat brush. Put a little more, more of the shimmer right in the center. And I'm gonna use my finger. Actually, I'm gonna use the brush that came with the palette because there's a flat, a flat side. And I'm gonna get Moo and put that right in the inner corner. And you can see how that brightens up the eye. And then take that right under on the brow bone. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same red shade that I mixed and I'm gonna put that with the same brush from the palette, that right on the bottom lash line. Barely tapping into it. And so I only put that on one side, so I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side and tap into Bible and Chai again and go right underneath that, kind of smoke it out. And on the other side. Okay. So that was that palette. I love it, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna go a little bit All right, so like I said before, I'm not really one to use a lot of eyeliner unless it's like a really dramatic look. So I'm just gonna go right on in with my mascara and this is the Benefit Roller Lash. This is my favorite mascara that's ever been made. <clears throat> and I just like to get really close to the lash line. Not, not too much. If I'm wearing lashes, I don't too much like to um, 
coat the whole lash. I mainly just want to get that very base of the lash. And then I want to sweep away that eyeshadow, that fallout. When I'm doing makeup on other people for prom or homecoming, this is the absolute scariest part. I mean, it's scary enough to put mascara on yourself, much less somebody else. It's not fun for me. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the same brand lashes that I wore the other day. This is Ardell, and these are wispy lashes. I'm, when, like I said, if the same thing with the eyeliner, if I'm doing a very dramatic look, then I'll go in with some real thick fluffy lashes, but I'm not really one to wear those um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I like to get the wispy ones because they look a lot more natural. They're not super duper long. They're not very thick. They just look like, I mean, I've had people say that they thought that these were my natural lashes, that I just was blessed with long lashes. But as you can see, I am not. <laughs> Definitely not blessed with my daughter's lashes. So I just put the, <laughs> I just put the glue on, blow on them, kind of let them dry a little bit and get tacky. All right, and then I go, I put them on with a tweezer. I find the perfect center of the lash and then I find the center of my, my lash line, which is normally right, if you're looking straight, it's normally right where your pupil is. These lashes like to curl up on you. And then kind of push them into place. You can tell, you can feel when they're on there. All right, same with the other eye. have a bad habit of just picking at them, making sure they're perfect. All right, same thing with the other eye. I'm gonna stick them on there, push them down, and then fix the sides. And then after they're a little bit dry, I go in and I kind of smush my lashes, my lashes and the lash strip together. Like I get real close. To where they have something to hold on to. Cause like I said, I don't have a lot of lashes. Um, so I want to give them something to hold on to so it's not just my skin. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to get my Manny MUA palette, my Morphe X Manny MUA Glam palette. This is what I used the other day. I didn't really show it up close. It's got all these shades and the highlighter shades also. Um, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna use this um, highlighter shade right here. Put my highlight on. I like a lot of times to do this last because if I have to fix my bronzer, I don't wanna go back over it because then I just have to fix it again. It's wasting time. All right, lastly, we're gonna go in with our lip and I'm gonna do the same lip. This is the NYX lip liner pencil in matte lip liner in London. <laughs> Couldn't find it. And my L'Oreal Satin Lipstick in number 800. All right, I'm gonna give myself another spray. A setting spray. And there you have it. Take these clips out. Like I said, I am gonna do a video of me fixing my hair the way I had it. Well, um, the way I refixed it after the last video, it's gonna be curly, but I will definitely show you that. I'll show you up close. This is it. All right, I hope everybody has a really good day. Um, and I will see you next time. Like I said, please subscribe to my channel and share it wherever you can. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.